What is going on everybody? We're here in the garage working on the compressor and I want to point out how happy I am because it is going flawlessly initially. Um, let me show you kind of what, uh, what the next step is. Uh, right here we have quarter inch angle uh, pipe thread, quarter inch adapter to three quarters, uh, a hose connector, hose connector, Four, three uh, a quarter inch uh, threads adapters to uh, eighth inch. Oh my gosh, lost train of thought. Now the reason that we have this is that on this regulator, I also put uh, the uh, also I uh, we switched the NOS PSI reader um, from the bottle to here because of fit and just give it that extra touch I think it needed. But on the regulator, on the other side, there is a quarter inch hole pipe thread and everything. On that, what we are doing is that we are attaching this back there and having the hose run down here and underneath the battery, it's hard to see, but underneath the battery there is two holes where uh, the original AC pi uh, tubes used to go to go to the AC everything over there. But uh, so what we're doing is that we're running the hose from the there to the cab and putting this, here we go, PSI reader on there so we can see in the cab what the PSI rating is while we're driving down the road or, or in the, in the, on the trails or whatever. Um, and so now we got to, um, well, I also bought more fittings so because uh, we also have to put more uh, metal through the tubes and everything. We're doing that a bit different though. We're spending a little bit more money and doing it with uh, pre-threaded stuff that you can buy at Lowe's or hardware stores, the same stuff that I bought that, so I don't have to do any grinding of the threads or wait to do more welding and all that fun stuff, we're just gonna do all at once. I do have to do some welding to build the brackets for it, but um, that won't be too bad, just a few, just rod and some uh, tack welds and weld it and then uh, burn it, burn it down. Um, but, uh, so how we're gonna do that is that it's gonna come out at an angle, 45 to there, all the way down to back here where there's another 45 and hopefully I can just go straight into it and leave it open um, under there and that's kind of hard to see it's hard to explain because the engine's still hot from driving it but if we go inside the cab pops out right underneath where the carpet is and it's going to ride all the way up here go behind that and I'm going to put it on the other side of here and we're going to build a 90 degree bracket with some uh, uh, just regular bar metal and we're just going to bolt it right up there and it's going to hopefully sit flush with this right here so at all times we can see what it is here's a switch for it i wanted that one to be because then to be somewhat close um but that's the plan dang it um <laughs> scare the crap out of me but uh, that's the plan right now for it and um we'll go for it um i'm gonna do i'm gonna put everything together and uh Hopefully, get like uh, I don't. I have to go to work today, um, and uh, but anyway, we'll see how it all goes. I'll, I'll uh, let you know when something happens. Okay, so I got the two put together for that one. I'm gonna put this side in the in the regulator, so it, this is out. I don't know. I just I think it's just a preference. Uh, so that's going in there, and this will be on that. Um, I want it to be, I don't want to put this on yet because this will be easier to fasten on to the, the regulator on the back side. Once this is off, or once this is off, then once this is on, we put it on there, then uh, figure out what angle would work best. Um, then uh, I guess me get the hose and measure how much I need and then do some measurements so I can go back to the store tonight. Um, and. Uh, purchase the correct ones and have the correct ones uh, threaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there real quick. And uh, it'll get the hose out and measure and I'll kind of give you a better idea how everything's going to go. But I'll, I'll do that real quick. Okay, to kind of get you a better idea. There's those fittings there. Um, and that's the hose attaches to that. It follows there and goes under there through the, to, through the firewall. Um, I'll uh, get some hoses, lay them out, get the right size. Okay, I got the hoses out. Um, 
back behind there. Man, you can't see anything with this thing. So that's a weird place for it. Okay, there's the hose. Goes up here. We attach that. I have a 45 at right about down here, I would assume. Then it goes straight to here. Then the 45 down and at an angle towards the hole down there. And then uh, I have three 45s, so I'm, it might just be flush with the hole, which would be fantastic. Then if we go on the inside here, I'll figure out what to do with this. I might just leave it. Um, or uh, try to push it up somewhere and paint it black or something like that so it doesn't show as well um, get that part fixed but uh, then it'll pop out over there where the bracket's going to be and uh, I guess we're, I guess we'll work on the bracket now I don't think it'll hurt anything get that mounted painted and everything kind of want to keep this thing red in the middle black on the trim um, just to keep everything kind of uniform and uh, try to get that really nice um, but uh, and I wanted to, I, want, I kind of wanted it to be really easy to get out, so I could take it off, just off of the dash, so I could wire stuff in here because that's that size where most of the wires are going to come in at, um, or because that's where I have the loom and everything at. But uh, there's that. I don't want to cut it just yet um, because if I guess I could leave quite a bit of room. Yeah, I'll probably do that. But with this, I don't have to worry about any crazy angles or anything like that. Uh, so that's nice. Also, I forgot, um, sorry if that was a bad angle, I wasn't paying attention. Um, this here, I wanna get a 90 so the wires don't stick up. They kinda come out of the angle on one side or another. That's, that's a later project. Um, but uh, yeah, it's coming along great. Um, I just can't wait to actually get everything fitted and ready to go. Um, and I'll probably have to work on some relays or something like that uh, because this is supposed to turn turn it off once it reaches 120 PSI, I believe. Um, it will turn off the compressor because the compressor wire goes from the single wire out there, that's the power, through here into one side, out the other to the switch, and the other side of the switch to the battery. So nothing turns on with it's off. It turns it on, completes the circuit. Once it re then once the compressor reaches 120 psi, turns that off. This is full. But um, uh, since if we come over here to the uh, gauge that it came with, you can see that it's rated really, really high. I mean, like the good zone is over 900 psi. This is here for looks, by the way. I don't plan to actually use this because I don't think I'll get even close to any of the markers. But you never know. Um, end up one day might be using it but if i do i'll probably have to beef everything up because this is pretty good this is working great um i the, you can see the oil drip from up here like you're supposed to and everything um but uh this is the only thing holding me back currently from turning it on to show you guys but we're not quite done yet but uh i want that to be done and everything like that so uh we're we're we're, we're, we're pretty close um but i think i'm done for at least now for now i gotta go Probably go to Lowe's a little bit early because I work at six, um, and uh, buy everything there, do some measurements and stuff. So uh, I'll be back here in a little bit, uh, probably tonight, um, and we'll see how everything goes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got some stuff. Um, so I got some black iron threaded pipe, uh, three inch, six inch, eight inch, and ten inch. I think it's ten. Yeah. And we're going to do that to build this part of it without welding and all that. Um, I don't know why I didn't think about this prior, but um, it, all that matters now is that we're doing it this way. And I, if this goes really easy, then I recommend you guys doing it this way if you want to do something similar to what I'm doing. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to slide everything on the hose without connecting it first. Then after that's done, we are going to... <clears throat> um, uh, thread it together because it's not like we just twist everything together and it'll work out great I hope uh, then once that's done I don't have any way to latch it down so I'm just going to get um, some hose clamps like these but bigger I think I have one in the other garage just to hold it together to the other pipe until we actually can weld it because that part we do have to weld um, but uh <laughs> I'm going to go do some... 
Okay, um, so what I wanted to do to connect it to the whole world didn't really work. The theory works, but the way I did it really didn't work. Um, so what we're going to do now is, that I, as you see, I have everything stringed on here, I believe in order, um, of what it needs to be. Um, so now we are going to thread everything and then uh, try to maneuver it back under there, make sure everything is where we need it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, we'll go from there. Okay, yeah, I changed it a little bit. Um, the the threaded pipe that I bought, it was all off very rough estimates. And uh, I felt like what I came up with now is a little bit better. Uh, we'll do it from this angle so you guys can see. It may be a little bit easier. Um, but uh, down there, under the battery, there's two holes where the hose is gonna go. Um, it's gonna go up the 45 up the 8 inch threaded to another 45 to the 10 inch then if we come on this side you can see right there is another 45 to a 2 inch and that's just going to be open I feel like that it just be too complicated and not too hard to actually try to fit something in there so it's completely covered um, I feel like it's okay this stuff is Goodyear uh, heat resistant rated up to 200 and 50 degrees maybe I don't know I bought it like a year and a half ago um, but uh, so the reason I did that is because it's in an engine bay but I felt the pipe would be a lot better so um, right now the pipe or the hose is uh, I spray painted it or I use bed liner spray paint from Russell and I use bed liner because I thought that would um, uh, stay to the Hose is a little bit better than paint would, but uh, I did that so when I install it under the Jeep, it's not a red line, uh, red red hose going out of it. So uh, I'm gonna let that dry. We'll be we'll be back tomorrow morning um, to uh, put everything back together. I think I'm just gonna use super glue. No, I'm probably gonna use thread thread tape because uh, the 45s there's you can only turn it so much so like if you want it as tight as possible so it doesn't rattle off then uh um it's not going to be at the right angle you want it so that kind of sucks uh, there's some other ways i could do it like use uh, solder or however they actually connect the pipes together but i think i'm just going to use super glue or something like that um, i don't expect to have to disconnect it but if i do um, i could just cut the hose from the inside from the cab area um, and use the copper line and two clamps to clamp it together like I did on the rest of them like uh, right there that got covered in um, bed liner and like right down there and stuff like that so that's not a problem so I think I'm gonna do it that way um, but that, that's it for uh, tonight um, we'll see you guys in the morning